As we come on the air, that monster storm is bearing down on millions in the West. Blizzard warnings remain in effect. Some areas already buried under seven feet of snow. More than 70 miles of I-80 remain closed. As many as 300 vehicles were stuck there this weekend. First responders checked car by car, making sure everyone was safe. This morning, an avalanche trapped several vehicles on Highway 50. Some quick thinking crews were able to get everyone out, but travel is still next to impossible. Our weather team is standing by with the forecast, but first, ABC's Faith Abube leads us off from Truckee, California. Tonight, new details of harrowing rescues at the height of the blizzard striking the Sierra Nevada mountains. Authorities say between two and 300 vehicles getting stuck along Interstate 80 over Donna Summit Friday night amid blowing snow and wind. Officers going vehicle to vehicle. We literally had to go one by one to start helping people out to get them off the hill including a mother and her baby who ran out of gas. This is part of the I-80 corridor that has been shut down since Friday night. You can see plow trucks have been consistently coming through almost every half hour. But as of this moment, conditions are still not ripe for reopening the road. This morning, an avalanche on Highway 50 trapping multiple vehicles. Luckily, everyone here is okay. Road conditions dicey all weekend, with officials discouraging all mountain travel. Even tow truck drivers like Cordell Greer getting stuck. I was the rescuer, and now I'm going to be the rescued. This as high winds are fueling dangerous fire conditions in the heartland this weekend. The Smokehouse Creek fire already burning more than a million acres in Texas and in Oklahoma. Gusts there could reach 60 miles per hour amid dry conditions. And Lindsay, you can see behind me multiple vehicles still buried in a lot of snow. Here in Truckee, we've gotten between five to seven feet. And there's a race now to clean up from this storm before the next system moves in tomorrow afternoon. Lindsay. Just adding insult to injury there, Faith. Thank you. Let's get right to ABC meteorologist Samara Theodore. Samara, sounds like the West is not out of the woods just yet. That's right, Lindsay. They're not. What's left of this weekend snow is moving out tonight. And as Faith mentioned, the next round is moving in tomorrow just in time for the work week. Let's go ahead and time it out. So take a look here. What you're seeing is the rest of this snow starting to taper off through tomorrow morning. The second round then moves in. It's going to be highly concentrated over the northern portion of the Sierra into Oregon, Idaho and Wyoming. There they could pick up an additional one to two feet of snow in parts of North, uh, Northern California, really adding to what they've already seen this past weekend. Meanwhile, out east, things have been pretty quiet. It's been more of a numbers game. St. Louis, Detroit and Buffalo all in for near record highs tomorrow afternoon. Lindsay enjoying the warmth today at least Samara. Thank you. Hi everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.